Welcome to Colipe! <laughs> Colipe is a small tropical island in the most southern part of Thailand. It's located near Malaysia, on the outskirts of the Tarutau National Marine Park. The island is part of the Adang Archipelago, a cluster of about 10 uninhabited islands, with Kulipe being the exception. This tiny island was originally discovered by the sea gypsies, the Chao Lei, who gave the island its name. Kulipe means paper island. The island and its crystal clear waters are famous for snorkeling and scuba diving. The coral reefs here are easy to reach as they start just a few meters from island's main beaches. You can also book a snorkeling or diving trip to the surrounding islands. There are lots of diving and snorkeling spots to explore. We rented a long tail boat that we shared with a couple from Chiang Mai. Our boat captain took us to five different snorkeling locations. I was on Kalipa during the monsoon season. They call it the green season, from May to October. During the green season, the waves are strong to the west, so we could only snorkel in limited spots on the eastern side of Kalipa. During the regular high season, from November to April, a typical snorkeling trip will take you out here, on the west side of Kalipa and surrounding islands. After snorkeling, we landed on the nearby Ko Adang for lunch. There's a national park ranger station here, and one hotel you can stay at. The wildflowers were blooming, and I went crazy taking photos of the butterflies. The best way to see Colipe is by foot. If you need a quick ride, you can hail one of the Sound Low, a three-wheel motorcycle taxi. There's one main walking street on the island. You cannot miss it. It's paved in blue. There are lots of restaurants and shops around. This little grandma is really funny. You can find her on Google Maps under the name Madame Yuhu. You will know it's her as soon as you approach her shop. Sunset Beach to the west, Sunrise Beach to the east, and Pattaya Beach to the south are the three main beaches on Kalipe. Pattaya Beach is quite long and has soft sand. The beach feels more local and it's not as pretty as Sunrise Beach in my opinion. The best snorkeling here is on each end of the shore, around the rocks. In high season, all boats arrive on Pattaya Beach. It can get quite busy in the bay, so be careful in the water. 15 minutes walk this way, you will find Sunrise Beach. Sunrise Beach stretches out along the entire eastern side of Kolipe. If you're looking for the best snorkeling, it's around the two tiny islands just off the shore, Kokra and Koisen. Sunrise Beach is shallow until we reach the islets. It's easy to kayak out there, leave your kayak on the sand and jump in the water. At low tide, the best place to swim or snorkel is on the far north side of Sunrise Beach. Here the water never gets shallow. Just be careful, as we were told that currents can get strong around here. North Point ended up being my favorite place on the island. It's a great swimming spot. The water is stunning and there was no one around. There was life everywhere I looked, in every nook and cranny. In low season, this side of the island is protected from the monsoon weather. The pier is moved from Pattaya Beach to Sunrise Beach. Sunset Beach is a small bay here. As the name suggests, this is a great spot to watch the sunset. This beach is probably the best one for swimming, as it does not have long tail boats parked in the way. Where to stay? I stayed on Sunrise Beach. 
and having walked the entire island, I think the north point of Sunrise Beach is the best place to stay on Colipe. If I were to go back again, I would stay in this little hotel right around the point. The bungalows look really nice from the outside. How to get here? The island is located 60 kilometers from mainland. You can land at Hatiai Airport and catch a minivan to the pier. The closest pier is Pagbara, or you can arrive by bus to Trang, then catch a minivan to Pagbara. The island is open all year and there are daily boat departures in the dry and wet seasons. Personally, I did not like Colipe as much as I thought I would. The small island feels a bit claustrophobic. I'm here during Covid lockdown and there are virtually no other tourists on the island. I cannot imagine what this little island looks like during the high tourist season. Colipe is far away and it's more expensive than other islands. The water is absolutely beautiful, but the main beaches are crowded with long tail boats and you have to swim in between them, which ruins the experience a bit. There are also lots of stray dogs on the island, some friendlier than others. I saw some garbage on the beaches, but I was on Kulipe during monsoon season, so maybe it's typical for this time of the year. Despite the small issues, there is no denying Kulipe is a tropical island paradise with stunning waters, soft white sand and gorgeous beaches. If you have been to Colipe and have some favorite places or tips to share, please list them in the comments below so others can read and benefit from your experience. Thanks for watching!